Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the ship avatar and make the ship avatar to become the main avatar in your Android Engine game project or you make the ship avatar to become the NPC in your game. So now I'm going to show you step by step. I'm using the Icon 7. First, you must have the Icon 7. And under, under Icon 7, you click here to go to the template and go to the prop. You should be able to see the animal roll tree if you already get this pack. And you can see a, a ship at there, you drag it out. Next, you must make sure that the Icon Unreal Life link already installed in your computer. At the same time, your, your Unreal Engine game project already install the Icon Unreal Life link as well. In your Icon 7 here, you open the Icon Unreal Life link, make sure you untick everything and you only tick the prop of the ship and you click transfer the file. In your Unreal Engine 4.26, you just need to wait for a while here. Once it finished transfer, it will appear at here. Now you can see, it finished transfer already, it back to the content folder, Revolution content folder and the ship folder. Now you already have, you already have a skeleton mesh here. And this is the ship and actually we don't want this skeleton mesh. I'm going to show you the next step, you need to go back to the Icon 7. In your Icon 7 here, you must make sure you already selected the ship and then you click here and then you click edit in 3D exchange now it will open with the 3D exchange here when you drag here down you can see it already have a, a few a few animations here next as demo I will export it out on my desktop here I will create a new folder on my desktop I will name it as ship01 I will open it. The folder is still empty if I open it. Next, in your Icon 3D Exchange 7 here, you click export, export as FBX file. And the target tool preset you choose Unreal Engine. For the first time, you exclude the animations and make sure you copy the destination here. Control C to copy and you paste it here as the destination. Now you click OK, it will export as FBX file here. Right. So I will, I will just press F2 and name it as ship01. Next you export the FBX again and target tool preset you choose Unreal Engine as well. Then you exclude the geometry, the file name here you put ship01. And the, desti the destination is still the same, you click OK and click OK. Now you can see it export all the animation as FBX file as well. You go back to your Unreal Engine here. You go back to the content. Create a new folder named Animals inside your content folder. And go into the Animal, animal folder. And here you right click, create a new folder. You name it as Ship01. Ship you enter the Ship01 folder. And first you you import the ship01 first, okay? And here you click import all. After you finish import, it will show you a message log, you just need to close that. And wait for a while now, it is loading the shadow, it is compiling the shadow. You have to wait until you can see all the textures. Now you can see all the textures, the ship01. Alright, next what we are going to do is the ship here, you choose choose the texture as ship throughout instant. Alright, after that, click save, close. Next, you create a new folder here, right click new folder, name it as animation. Alright, open the animation folder and next you are going to import all the animations here. The idle, walk fast and walk, you drag in. And always remember, the skeleton you must choose ship01.
the ship zero one skeleton. And the, the animation length you must choose animated time next. You click import all and wait for a while until it finish import. Now you can see all the animations already imported. Next, you have to go back to this folder, the ship 01. You, you double click the ship 01 skeleton. You must make sure you click the retarget manager and set the select rig as select humanoid rig. Then save. Sorry. Then save and close. Next, you back to the content folder here. At this side, you have to open the Mana Queens folder, double click in the characters folder, double click the mesh. You can see <coughs> this is the Mana Queen skeleton. Double click in, click the retarget manager, and you must, take, you must make sure that you select the humanoid rate as well and save, next you close this next you click character sorry, you click Mana Queens go into the animation folder you can see a third person animation blueprint here you right click it retarget the animation blueprint and make sure you click duplicate animation blueprint and retarget here you should be able to see the ship 01 skeleton Click retarget and next the third person animation blueprint will appear inside the content folder. All of these are retargeted animations. Click the third person animation blueprint to press F2 to re rename it and click here. Add an underscore. Shift 01. Enter. Next you click the first one can see ship 01 animation folder is open you have the na navigation we are going to move everything into the animation folder you click the first one hold the shift and click the last one drag into the ship 01 animation folder and then you click move here next you enter the animation folder you must make sure you can see the third person either runs you double click it the first, the first one is a ship 01 EDO. You have to drag the ship 01 EDO into the first point. Now you can see it have the animations. The next one is the walk, the ship 01 walk. Drag into the second point. And the ship 01 walk fast, you drag into the last point here. Now you can save it and close. Next, you back to the content folder. Go to the third person blueprint. In, enter the blueprints folder. You can see a third person character. Right click and duplicate it. You name behind, you put an underscore. Ship01, enter. Next, you, you double click it. We are going to make the ship01 to become the main avatar. Click the mesh, click the viewport. When you see the skeleton mesh here, you change it to become ship01 skeleton mesh. The animation class you have to choose third person animation blueprint ship 01 here. Next, you can click compile and save. Next, you close that. And now we are going to make this third person character ship 01 to become the main avatar. First, you have to click the mana queen in the map and press delete buttons to delete it. And then you go to the edit project setting. Next, click the maps and modes. You should be able to see a selected game mode here. The default avatar is the default point class. You have to change it to become third person character ship 01. Then you will automatic save and now this ship 01 already become the main avatar you can just close that it will automatically save now you try to play test you try to click play you can see your game avatar already become the ship 01 and this ship 01 this ship can run can walk and it have certain idle idle animation at their idle motion 
and now you also can set him become an NPC as well the third person character ship 01 you can drag it into the map you can press E to rotate to certain direction and then now you can just have a look if you back to the back to the game you play now you are the main avatar you are the ship 01 at the same time you can see that is an NPC ship 01 as well you can make make this ship to become the NPC and that's all for today about how to create a ship avatar in your Unreal Engine game project make this ship to become the main avatar and also NPC in the game and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately See you in my next video, enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.